it's not hard to tell if someone does not appreciate you. They're going to do everything. Like, it's not intentional. They don't even sit down to plan on it, uh, to behave this way. What fills the heart, the mouth speaks. Even the Bible talks about it. Yeah. That when something fills the heart, because they've been pondering about it, they've been thinking about it, they're seeing all the greener pastures, they're seeing people shaking bam bam, big uh, things out there and they are like, mm hmm, I wish. And so all of a sudden when they come back and they look at you, they're like, oh God, you know? So like it will be very natural that no one is pushing them. No one, it's, it's not pretense. They are just acting out, out of the fullness of Let me of just their give heart. you the other. Mm -hmm. When someone is tired of someone, mm. they cease to see, you know, this thing about the greener pastures mm. are the neighbors. Mm. The neighbor is seeing greener pastures in your house. I know. <laughs> I know. What you're throwing Everything away, that is someone outside. cannot wait to, to receive. Catch. Mm. Trust me. That's why I tell me, you, uh, uh, when they, when you, they you, tell you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been shocked. Okay? At the kind of woman they're trying to throw out. I know. You look at her and you're like, my goodness. I've seen some of what, them. What you are seeing, the guy inside the house cannot see, see at all. At all. What does that tell you, Hilda? When the heart stops loving, it has stopped. It's like when a heart dies, you can't resuscitate it. No. It, it's dead. And that's where some of us need to learn to cut our losses. Okay, I know. <laughs> I'm taking you to the extreme. <laughs> I'm taking you to the extreme. Okay, let's go slowly, slowly. <laughs> slowly, slowly. We'll bring those bad manners later. But, but for now, as in when someone stops loving you, it's very evident. Mm -hmm. Very, very evident. Like there is no more care. Some of the signs that people, uh, that, that, that people don't have language to, they just say, I don't feel appreciated. But when you ask them, how don't you feel appreciated? Sometimes they don't have words for it. So some of it is there is no direct appreciation, gratitude. Like you, there is no thank you at all. And it's even in the actions that I don't care about now, remember you. Do your own things. Remember where we things. started? Mm. Where I was very intentional to say thank you and then you were very intentional saying thank you to me. Yes. Now, in that kind of situation, the one you're talking about, mm. you'll find that the woman is doing 150%. Yeah. Going above and beyond. From preparing th th that meal, preparing his clothes. The children. The, the children, home. The home. Even she will do 150%. Percent, mm. but guess what? It's just annoying, annoying, and annoying to the man because you're doing the right thing, but you're the right person. Yeah, you're doing it for the wrong person. As in, <laughs> you're casting your pals. It's just to like the it's, no, 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 no. It's just like wow. It's just like every time you do all these things, you're putting coals of fire on his head. He's feeling guilty. As in, why are you, you doing good? Pay yes. me with bad. Yes, because I... So that we are equal. Yes. So that you're like me. Yes. But guess what? As yeah. women... So this, this, is, this is how this we This guy trained. will come back home. Mm. I mean, this guy will come back home. Mm. Okay? And will not sit on the, on the table. He will say, I'm full. I've eaten. Wow. Goes to bed straight, but mm. on his phone, all through. He has greener pastures that he's talking to. Yeah. So you're like... I've been told in church mm. to be a good girl. Mm. I should not pay. Uh, evil for evil. Yeah, so I'm going to fix the meal the next day. Fix it the next day, the guy comes back. No, back, guess what? I'm, it, I'm okay. They don't, don't just I don't fix, feel, I fix don't the meal the next day. They go above and beyond. Like maybe yesterday, because then you're like what I cooked, he didn't like it. Mm. Probably let me do something different. You never know this time it might be better. Mm. You go ahead and do that. He comes, checks it out. It's like, I don't think I want this. I'm okay. Mm. And then the you find singers who tell them, wait again. She yeah. goes and buys a, ni a night dress that is short. Yeah. And guess what? They just bypass her. Without even without noticing. Even noticing, noticing. Without even noticing. Without even looking like they are disgusted. Half the time their mouth is in the nose because they are frowning. They even look old so when from you too see, much frowning. When you see all these signs, okay. Uh, don't over audition. Yeah. Don't. You You're know not it. lining up you, to you be chosen. You know it that, uh-uh. Yeah. 
mm. there's nothing wrong with of you. Of course, you don't begin from the... You, the extreme. You, you keep trying. Mm. You don't begin from the extreme. You keep trying. You keep trying you until try you get forever. to a point mm. where you know that I... It's a gone case. Uh, whatever I'm trying to do here, the kind of attention I'm trying to draw mm. is not mine. Um, mm. I don't think he really cares. Mm. And probably we need help. You know, the place of I need help, mm. now like the... the the, l- the, the lady, later, yes. the, the lady I'm that sent. I'm desperate. It comes after a long time. Now, if yeah. you sat down with her, probably it's been two or three or four years, or even more or than even that. Ten, yeah. And you keep trying, you keep trying. Every time you talk to someone, tells you try this, you try. Pray about you know, it. Pray, you First, pray. You, you keep doing all these what's things. What's his best meal? Prepare it. Yeah. What's his best style in bed? Go and do that. Um, As in, you, you are not fixing anything. Yeah. You're actually devaluing yourself even the more. Because that's how they see it. In the, in, 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 in that's how eyes. they read. That's how they read yeah, it. You send one signal, it's interpreted the other way. As desperacy. As nagging, oh, so sad. as it it is so sad, so and sometimes sad. I've been forced to even tell. I've I've had encounters where a man is seated there and a woman is seated there, and the man is totally dis- and the, it it happens even both sides. Sometimes it's the, the man w- who is trying to that that is trying to get appreciation from the from woman. the lady yeah. to just be seen, and you see the man dying is even begging. Some of them are even kneeling. Let me tell you, when you love someone, they are kneeling. They're like, now where am I going? And they're like, Mama Gundi. And they're calling them Mama Gundi, as in to show them, this is what you mean to me. You give me children. Can we fight for these children? And they're like, Twata and Kabobi, right now we are a bit better. Guess what? The woman, most of the times, they have their hands on. You see how Asahel with the Kagalo on the phone? That is how the woman is always like, you know, disgusted people, eh? looking at them. When. <laughs> and that is, the, the, uh, that is how the woman and sometimes I cannot take the nonsense yeah. I tell the man I actually don't know why you are actually begging her so sad. You, des- you, de- you deserve sad. better to be treated better. This kind of treatment no. is not what you deserve. No. And sometimes the woman puts down the phone. And I'm like, you know what? You actually don't have a woman. You have a monster in your home. You have a demon in your home. I go to the extreme because sometimes when you stay neutral they don't understand you Mugamba, yes, she gave you children, but she's a demon. Yeah. <laughs> because if she was nurtured in a well-respected home and she was brought up and charity begins at home, she would not be treating you like, you would not be kneeling down to beg, and yet you're not the one that has a pro. And most of the times, it's the woman that stepped out or even went back to her ex, and now the man is wants to redeem her back. I remember, so that, I remember the, I a situation we handled where the guy, was like, the guy, the man was like, I forgive her. All I want is my wife back. I know. And, and the, the woman and the wants woman to hear is, nothing. Yeah, She's like, I no, care. I don't have time for that. Yeah. She actually wants to go back to her boss or go back to her ex or go uh, back wherever. And so sometimes um, even nurturing these, the people that are left behind is so painful. So painful to nurture them to come back to a place of being uh, what we usually call deliberately selfish to get all that attention and give it back to themselves. Because half the time, by the time they come for help, basi wuse. They have forgotten about themselves. They are no longer even combing the hair. They are even putting on anyhow because the moment you are not loved, you feel you take the first person you forget about is yourself. So now we tell you that the attention you've been putting in chasing the other person, stop chasing. Now start chasing after yourself. Recently we had a discussion as men, um, and Hilda was part of this discussion. <laughs> it was our online thurs uh, no this time it was it not was online. It was a physical yeah. meet where we, we met and I could feel the pain from the gentleman. From the gentleman my where goodness. some of them used words like I have an alpha female in my house. She's a go getter. She has the money mm. but I feel like I'm, I'm disrespected. Mm. I am less and she shows it to me flashes it in my face that you know so painful. I can bear with you. I, I can bear, I can keep, I can try to. And she does that in so many ways. So many ways. And I could feel the pain coming from, I coming from the gentleman. Yeah. And they asked Hilda this question. How do we deal with alpha females? Mm. We know that um, you've been uh, mentoring these wonderful women mm. and they're so big the celebrities, they are powerful out there, mm. and 
we've been told to support them mm. we're doing the, we're doing the needful mm. supporting their but visions the and supporting hand. them but mm. how do we deal with these alpha females mm. and some of them confessed and said our women have more money mm. than we do mm. they can afford more stuff than we can do mm. but then we the don't like the fact that they step all over us you understand mm. you know they make mm. it so obvious and it feels and so we have to live with that now that. i just wanted to slide a little bit so that side mm. uh because the other side we're talking about a woman who's mm. not needed mm. but again on this side the there's side, this yeah? man who feels who's doing everything for her, not respect for the family but because he married a so-called alpha female mm. <laughs> i told hilda if you're an alpha female in your home you're a fool mm. it's it's um it is um, um it is a sweet uh, a cover up for bad manners for bad manners it is yeah most of the times when a man comes from that i, hear, angle, I feel like we should handle a bit yes, of that let, 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 because it's also an appreciation yeah it's also not knowing your role as a woman in your home and by the way that is why god has placed it on my heart i think i've shared it with a few of the coaches that i have mentored that yes i have mentored women that are doing so well in the marketplace but i want to have a serious mentorship marriage mentorship with them because what i do in my marriage some of them actually are not doing in their marriages and i want to be able to open their eyes that if you get all the money in the world there is no satisfaction if you have a broken home if you have a dysfunctional home so make sure that you go back to your homes as women and wives and friends to your partners when you are out there you can chase you can hustle you can chase your purpose you can chase for the money and do everything that you are able to but at home you are a natural you are a woman you are a mother you are a wife and there are things that are expected of you so when you say that alpha female is actually a cover up for for bad, for bad manners, manners i believe and in that 150% yeah. because i have seen how women treat oh, no. because when someone feels like you know what now I, i i i know myself every morning they're out of the house without knowing what is happening in their in their homes and then they come they come back to putting their feet up on their phones because they are chasing businesses and they don't know how the children eat how they are sleeping who tucks them in bed and what is actually happening Alpha so females. is that actually a home that is not a home that means you have a hotel you go back to Yeah. That, and, uh, that is not right. And your husband is a roommate. It is not right and it's not going to take too long. Your husband is going to be broken. Yeah. And when they are broken, they will look for comfort. And when they look for comfort, now you will be a client coming and saying, but my husband is not supporting my vision. When they supported your vision, you called them a fool. Yeah. And you behaved like a fool. No, Hilda, I'll be that very on, I'll right. be very honest with you with my men. That is not right. I'm helping them. Yeah. I'm I'm Sharpen helping them. them how to deal with alpha females, bad mannered bad mannered man alpha women. females. <laughs> bad mannered women. I know. B- because you are not an alpha female in your home. You are a wife and a mother. Yeah. You're a wife to someone a and friend. a mother to children. Mm. Who is supposed to be so, loyal, respectful, alpha, everything alpha, that builds a marriage? Alpha. Alpha. Should work somewhere else. Hey, did you negotiating the deals is mm. Where you are chasing Gendo someone to be, where you are a go getter everything about alpha female works outside the home. Mm. So when you have a bad mannered wife in the name in the context of alpha female mm. young men I have something for you. I think that that is the I question. Will help you. I now I'm getting to I'll understand the question that usually people ask you. How do you manage? <laughs> uh, and, and, and I think here is they have a totally different picture. <laughs> come home. Yeah. Just yes, come and visit. <laughs> they have a totally different picture. I think some of them are like, ah, the way we see Bahati on the streets of Kampala. <laughs> If that is the Bahati in her home. And uh, it's a blessing to be able to balance, to be able to even have harmony, not balance but have harmony yeah. or create that harmony and it is intentional. Very. Very intentional and then it is sweet when you are submitting to a man that is a leader and confident and secure and as in you feel like 
I feel like a child when I'm with you. I feel like a young girl when I'm with you. You have created that safe zone for me. So I think there's a lot of mentoring that we need to do, especially in the men, because I felt that when I spoke the truth that day of who I am in my home, some of them were like, okay, now we need help. Like, we, I wish the women were here and yeah. they were listening to this firsthand yeah. from Bahati's mouth. Because if this is what she is saying, she's a natural, she's a mother, she's a wife. Uh, guys. There's something no, that is missing. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, Hilda, it, when you flip that, you see that text, mm. flip it. Mm. And it's the man. It's painful. So it, it's extremely more painful. painful. Mm. Because in God's design, Okay, mm. God was not stupid when He said, "Love your wife." Yeah, women submit to your husband. It is as simple as that. Mm. That the best you can do for your man, the peace you can give him, is at least some respect. Mm. At least respect him. Mm. Now you're going to tell me, is he the kind that deserves to be respected? That is for another day. Mm. But at least respect him. Mm. And the respect here is truly and mm. I know that you're saying in your heart Tim mm. respect is and very true mm. if he has not earned the respect that's why we have mentorship for men to help them yeah. learn how to, to earn, earn that respect, respect. And, and how do we earn our respect is mm. by doing the leading in our home the right being things. the priest of the home yes defending your home mm. uh, providing security for your home being the defender defend you like you like you you're the priest you everything that that um, that you should be to your family mm. they can look look up to you, mm. they can trust you, they can have confidence in you, mm. you know, uh, th that when father is home, when he is in the house, mm. uh, things will be okay. Mm. They but have uh, the faith. But again, I also want to, 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 to flip the coin that even when the man has not earned the respect, okay, it does not call for bad manners. Mm -mm. You it get it. it. You can still be a well-nurtured woman yeah. who can still extend respect where someone has not earned it because that is how you were nurtured. For example, there is no day in my life I will ever raise a voice, my voice, at you. It doesn't matter what you do, ever, because that is how I was brought up. Yeah. You get it. So that means not earning the respect does not cover up for bad manners, does it not doesn't, make up for bad manners. That someone can fail to earn the respect yeah. and you will still be the humble you and the good you and the polite you even in the, pro in the approach yeah. of trying to make sure that you rectify. Because the first thing when a marriage breaks or when the communication breaks or when respect breaks, the first thing is not dumping the marriage. Yeah. The first thing is to rectify. So how can you rectify with bad manners? Impossible. Because with bad manners, you're adding paraffin or petrol to the fire. That's true. But with good manners, that is where you're like, okay, let me pray about it. Let me approach him with respect and politeness, even when he's impolite. And that is how you can be able to tame. Yeah. That is how someone can be able to come to their senses and say, you know what, there's something I didn't do. But while you lash out, they're protecting them, themselves. So now they're not thinking about building the marriage. Exactly. They're actually thinking about defending themselves. So appreciation goes a long way. It really, 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 really goes a Going long way. Going back to this lady, mm. I think I liked uh, uh, the approach you were taking. I don't know. I don't know how long we still have, but mm. the approach you were taking of um, deliberately selfish. Yes. You know, when that book came out, it faced a bit of resistance, especially because from the, men. the title, mm. the title raised a bit of concern. Mm. But the thing here is, it is you respecting yourself enough exactly loving yourself enough exactly and uh, to be able to love d better. D doing mm. that for you not for you anyone know, like um we usually say whatever that you want me to do for you mm. do it for yourself yeah now when you do it for yourself then you send the right signal to me mm. to do it for you mm. and that is where most people lack most especially when you find people that have inferiority complex, mm. people that have self-esteem uh, issues, mm. all that you need, all that you want from them is them to first appreciate themselves. Mm. The reason as to why no one is d deliberately appreciating you or coming your way mm. is because you've not placed any value in yourself. Yes. You've not loved yourself. Yes. You've not believed in yourself. So, so there's you no magnet. You there's no them. attraction. Mm. There's no magnet. Wow. There's nothing that draws wow. us to look twice. You know, when something nice passes, 
as a must. We are attracted to it. We can't just passively look. When something is nice, we, head, we, turn, our we turn our heads. Yeah. And then there is a compliment. Yeah. That means you've done something on you that has drawn that. my attention. Yes. So when you want something nice done for you, wow. learn to do it for yourself. Wow. So that's really deliberately selfish. Wow, that is like input. deliberately selfish. Mm. Look nice. It's a lifestyle. Believe in you. That you have a future. The man does not love me, yeah. does not believe in me. That's not the end of my life. I'm going to sink into depression, exactly. stress, and die. Wow. I'm going to look at myself as a vessel created by God, loved by in God, God's appreciated image. by God. I will not stop praying. I will not stop fellowshipping. I will not stop loving. I not stop doing the nice things for my children and, and myself. And wow. whether you like it or not, the moment you start on that journey, then we, we turn start turning. We're like, I know. Who is that advising you? you. <laughs> the reason <laughs> that's why we're asking those questions wow. is because you're doing the right thing for the first time. You're smelling nice. You're dressing hmm. nice. You're praying. You're, you're creating a routine for yourself. As in, you're centering all the love back to yourself. You're going back to living the fullness of how God wants you actually yep. to live. Yeah. I, lo I love that. For those of you that need deliberately selfish, it's still on, on, on the market. You'll find it at Media Plaza, level three. Media Plaza, level three. Come and make sure that you actually buy that book. It first resistance because most of the husbands didn't know what it was. That it was actually working in their favor. Working in their favor. Yep. Because for every Because woman, that's how you light up a candle in your home. Exactly. That's how, and you know, what does a candle do? Provides mm. light. Yeah. Now there are those that are scented candles. Mm. Changes the fragrance. You know, it's like you like. It emanates. Mm. It exudes. Where is this been coming from? Where has this been? You 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 begin to have your own problems. You look happy. You know, when you are wow. dependent on someone, Hilda, it's like everything about your life is about them. I know. So you become even more boring. It's pathetic. You're too predictable. Too predictable. So, get happy. You know, we have only a few years to live here. I know. Uh, so you can't afford it's to live. Life. You can't afford to live your life so miserable. Hating yourself. That's how people, by the way, mm. get depressed. And that's how people are suicidal. Mm. Because they tend to see everything about them through another's eyes. Yeah. As in, you're waiting for that validation. You're yeah. waiting for, you're waiting and you're, and then, guess what? You're looking in the wrong place. Because yeah. the whoever that you're looking at and expecting. Mm. And that depresses you the more. And of more. course. Because you're still looking at the same way. Of person. course, that's what she's you're telling you. That's why she said. That's why same. she said in a text, mm. "I want to get out of his church." Yeah, she doesn't want to get out of the church. She feels like I don't want to look at the same man. I know. I know. It will not be a long time. She will be getting out of the church, the church and the home. Mm. So my issue here: before you leave the church and before you look leave the home, before you do anything extreme. Try out this. Deliberately selfish, Try out this. practical living. Try out this. Give yourself all the love. Find your purpose. Have an aim in life. By the way, have an aim Pursue, in life. You have a vision. Wake up every day with yourself, an aim to you know. do something. Immerse your life in something. Getting better. And let me tell you, you will see, for every woman that bought deliberately selfish, that read deliberately selfish, their man had to ask, what is in this book? So, because most of them had it on their bedstands, most of the women. So their men will be like, oh, deliberately selfish. They're like, that woman is teaching you bad manners. And all of a sudden, they're the ones turning to love them. And all of a sudden, they're the ones coming for the sessions now, privately, and they're like, don't tell my woman that I actually came to wow. see you. So you see that there was a transformation, and there's still a transformation that Going, is happening yeah. in, in people's lives. And just give yourself that attention. I'll pr I promise you. you the, by the time they turn, sometimes you'll be the one that doesn't love them. Yeah. <laughs> by the time they turn, you'll be like, ha, I thought you were the, you know, the kabeja of this world, but now I am starting to see a few loopholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you don't accept just kwara kwara. Once you have transformed, you also put your, your limits and your perimeters. You're like, I don't accept this, I don't accept that, I don't accept that. Oh, if you it. still want us to mingle and yeah. walk again, yeah. two people cannot walk together unless they yeah, agree. agree. So let's go back on the drawing board. We love you guys. We love <laughs> you have the numbers on the screen. In case you need mentorship, 
uh, both for men and, 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 and the ladies, uh, just write the word mentor me and send it, WhatsApp it to the numbers on your screen. If you need deliberately selfish, that is Media Plaza Kamocha on the third level. You'll be able to get the book and it can be delivered if you send deliberately selfish to, um, to the numbers on your screen. Sure. Bless you, bless you. Bye. Bye.